What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Okay, so we finally made it to, I believe, Eternus City. Let me see. I keep on forgetting the names and everything, so let's go right ahead and figure this one out, because good old Draven keeps on forgetting. It must be the CTE. I don't even know. Yes, we're in, we're in Eternus City. And, well, we got quite a bit of things to do. As you guys can see, there's a team a Galactic member here. He's like, hey, you! Yeah, you trainer. Er, it's okay, never mind. You look tough. I won't take, um, I'll just let you keep your Pokemon. Carry on. Okay, so that right there is a bit of a mystery right there. Now, Turner City is basically the gateway to a bunch of, uh, things starting. You know, as you guys can see, oh, gravy. Thud. Hey, Draven. You came to see the Pokemon statue, right? I'll take you there. Oh, gravy. So, because, you know... This thing is here, and well, would you look at that? What the? And as you guys can see, Cyrus is right there. He's like, so, this is Eternus Pokemon statue. Shaping our world, our, uh, our world, our time, and space, an intertwining spiral. Revered in, po in Sinnoh are the Pokemon of time and space. Sinnoh's myth, its truth needs investigation. Pardon me, stand aside. Hmm. Okay, so this guy, he's got Super Saiyan blue hair, and uh, he's still, you know, kind of one of them uh, dodgy characters right there. And, and Barry's like, oh, hey, when we smacked together, uh, a brilliant flash of inspiration came to me. An easy way to become a great trainer? Yeah, that. All right, listen close. Make certain all your attacks hit. Avoid enemy attacks for sure. You do that, you'd never lose. You'd be an invincible trainer. Anyway, go check out the Pokemon statue. See you around. Okay, so that kid is just, he's, he's just weird. So, here is the world-famous Pokemon statue. It's the Eternal Pokemon statue. There seems to be a descriptive play, but it appears to be torn off. Which is true. It is very, very true. So, let's see. They say this is an awesome Pokemon that people saw so long ago. Which is true. And I think in Pokemon, what, Pearl, it's a little bit different. In Pokemon Platinum, or in a Diamond, it's, you know, everything is different. So... Let's see, we got a bunch of, uh, we got a bunch of uh, these guys right here, and, uh, well, before we do anything, let's go right ahead and go straight to the next route, because there might be a few things that we want to actually get. Now, first is first, let's go right ahead and grab ourselves a, a repel right here, because, yeah, we don't want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon. And if you guys see these squares, usually you'll find, like, a hidden item right there, obviously. There's a lump right there, and, you know, you're going to be seeing some Pokemon trainers, and as you guys can see, bam! Zubat! Doesn't that sound like a ninja bursting from cover? It is. It does. Okay, so here we go, taking on Ninja Boy Zack, and he will be coming out with a Zubat, so let's go right ahead and speed this through. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be battling quite a few Pokemon, taking care of a uh, business right here. Now, if you guys notice a little bit different, uh, I did recapture some of the Pokemon that I, I have on my team. Electro Star and everything, because I'm kind of weird like this. I like to use different kinds of Pokemon for the Pokemon I capture. That's kind of the thing I do. Including uh, Badoo, Rosemon. I caught it at a different level this time. And as you guys can see, I caught it at, what was it, level 3. And I gave it the Sooth Bell right there at level 3, and we've been walking with it for quite some time, especially with the speed button, so hopefully we get some kind of a quickie evolution. I don't even know. We might. I don't... It's it just like, we could be lucky. So, here we go. We're going to be going with uh, Rosemont, and we're going to be taking on Homeboy right here. He's going to be like, see how Mount Carnet uh, towers uh, above us? I want to be big like that one day. Okay, let's go. Here it is, Hiker Louie, or Lewis, and he will be coming out with his Geodude, and well, here we go with a Mega Drain, and he's going to be coming out with an Onyx, so another Mega Drain for the win, nearly gets us to level 19. Let's go ahead and open this one up right here, and well, there might be an item close by, and I kind of feel like this trainer wants to battle us, so let's go right ahead and give Poseidon a little love, and there she is looking at us, and she's going to be like, look at these beautiful wings. Like chicken wings or something like that? I don't even know. So, let's go right ahead, take on Alexandra. Go with a bubble beam. And she's going to be coming out with a hoot hoot, so let's go back to Electro Star right here. And give this Pokemon the Spark Technique, and bam, we just defeated her. Okay, so, 
there is a Pokeball right here, and we got ourselves the TM12 Taunt. That could be useful, eventually, later on. And, well, let's see. Our Repel has worn off, so... As you guys can see, there is an entranceway to Mount Coronet. As you guys already know, Mount Coronet is a big, 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 and I mean big mountain, with a lot of history. I mean, I've never played the uh, Legends Arceus yet because, well, you know, I haven't really had the time, but eventually I will find out that, well, Mount Coronet is basically the center of all of Sinnoh right here. So what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be taking a small tour and wait just a sec. Hmm. Well, well, well. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Thought I noticed somebody beautiful, and blonde, and uh, very, very strong with her Pokemon. Mm. Oh, that device hat you have. It is a Pokedex. Wow. <laughs> Brings back memories. Pardon me, what's your name? Okay, hello, Draven. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately just out of curiosity. Here in Eterna City, there is a statue of an ancient Pokemon. Have you seen it already? According to the myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows? You may encounter something like that, like it, when uh, when you're traveling with your Pokemon or Pokedex. Oh, I know. Try using this; it should be helpful. And here we get ourselves the HM01 Cut. Remember, the hitting move Cut can be used in the field. It will let you go uh, go to places that they, or that were previously an, an accept, or inaccessible to you. That's important for filling up your Pokedex, right? Then, be, uh, be luck with uh, with you. Oh, and there's one last thing. Please give my regards to Professor Rowan. Hmm. Now there is one little thing we do need to win the badge in order to get, in order to get ourselves that cut. Now there is something else that you guys need to check out. If you go right here, you will see this guy. He's like, I am, and I am the first to have gone underground, dug tunnels. You can call me the underground man. Everyone else does. I'll make a gift. Uh, I'll make a gift of this to you. You hold up your end of the deal and put it to good use. And here we get ourselves the Explorer Kit. Now, way later on, about ten years later, the Explorer Kit will be of good use. The Explorer Kit will be a thing, or it will be an item that will help you find some pretty rare Pokemon. Now, this guy right here is like my gift to you. The Explorer Kit will instant instantly take you underground. You need, uh, you need only to use it, and and you will be down in the tunnels. The underground is a different world where you can uh, do this, that, and other thing too. Let me mentor you in becoming a full-fledged spelunker. Will you take the challenge? Sure. Well, say, or well said, my young friend. I will teach you uh, by assigning missions. First, go underground. Going underground is quite easy. Simply use your explorer kit. If you accomplish that, I will give you the next test. And, well, I think if you talk to this guy, yes, he's going to be talking to you about some uh, spheres and all that stuff. And I do believe that underground you will be able to find some different kinds of fossils. And I believe it's when you step outside you can actually start up the mission. But we're not going to be doing that just yet. Now, if you guys can see right here, this here is the bike shop. And if you talk to, well, let's see, if you talk to this kid right here, he's going to be like, the manager's gone off to the Team Galactic building and hasn't returned. I wonder what's holding him up. Hmm. I wonder what's holding him up. Okay, so we're going to be going a little further right here. Now, there is a gym right here, but, but, there's a big but, and I hate when people, like, walk in front of me. So here is the condominiums. The name rating services is available right there, and, uh, well, correct me if I'm wrong. It's this individual right here who will name rate your Pokemon. So eventually, if I have any kind of problems with kind of Pokemon nicknames, yes, he will be the guy to go to. And this kid wants you to trade a Buisel for a Chata, a Chata, a Chata or whatever. Eventually, I'll catch a Chata or a a Buisel, and uh, he is the superintendent of this whole place. Now, Buisel you can actually capture at the Valley Windworks. So yeah, we will be going there a little bit. Now, this girl right here is like, Gardenia, our gym leader, goes out to a turn of forest very often. I wonder, I also wonder what she does there. She probably meditates, kicks butts, takes names, and this guy right here is talking about recycle. Look at the trash can, nothing, and here is a lady that will give you the TM for recycle. As you guys can see, it is the TM67. Now, let's see, let's go right ahead. Let's go right ahead. 
and step up top and let's see what we got right here talk to this guy badges from gyms uh, or contest wins there's more than just one way to be a winner seems it, well, it seems here's hoping you'll find something in which you can be the victor okay well you guys already know that I'm just the guy that you know I'm just the guy with the the gym challenges this guy right here is gonna be taking the contest the contest challenges and well this guy's talking about some kind of traps and all that stuff anywho I think that's pretty much it right there I think we're gonna have to be going straight to I think we have to go straight to the gym now because uh, yeah yeah a, a tour of Eterna Eterna City is pretty cool but you know it is what it is let's see now here is our good old friend Gardena let's go ahead and talk to her hi I'm Gardena I'm this town's gym leader. My last challenger was awfully speedy young uh, guy. Actually, his name was Barry. He told me about you. He said that another challenger's on his way, so that made me antsy. At my gym, no one gets a battle with the gym leader. Me until the end. The challenger has to be all other gym trainers first. I'll be waiting for you in the back, trainer. Don't disappoint me. Okay, all right. Well, you gotta love Barry. Not really. I do not like Barry. No hop, and here we're gonna be finding ourselves a super potion. And I guess it's time for us to go straight to the Pokemon gym. Alrighty, so here we are in the gym, and this guy right here is gonna be like, "Hey there, how's it going, champ? To be actually, that's what I said. That's what I said to uh, some boy who zipped in here earlier too. The gym leader Gardena is a user of Grass type Pokemon. It should be obvious that Grass type Pokemon are really or really hate fire." They're also at a huge disadvantage against flying type too. Oh wait, Ace, oh, wait a second, I should tell you about the gym itself first. You can't challenge the gym leader until you beat all the gym trainers. It's a bit challenging, but just think of it as a good training for it. Alright, go, go for it. Obviously he's talking about the clock right there, and well... Let's go right ahead and go with Starblade right here. And see what we can do. And uh, well, obviously this is a big, big, big clock, so we gotta talk to this person. And well, let's go right ahead and speed this through. Okay, so here we're gonna have a Cherubi. One of these Pokemon, look at that, that's one of the Pokemon that you can actually get as, uh, you can actually get uh, through uh, Honey Slabbing. Now, here we're learning Endeavor, Endeavor, so this move right here is much better when it comes to getting paralyzed, getting status affected, or just almost dying, literally almost dying, it becomes powerful because of that, and thankfully, because of the wing attack, it actually, you know, helps us out right here, so, yeah, wing attack for the win, and, well, you see the clock is turning right here, and, well, I wonder will it will, where it will go, and it looks like to me, we're gonna have to be going to the west side of this whole section, or the east side, I should say. So, let's go right here, talk to this person. My grass type Pokemon can dole out some serious special attacks. I won't let you win easily. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on Aroma Lady Jenna, and well, she's gonna be coming out with a Badoo, and we're gonna be going straight for wing attacks, and as you guys can see, we're gonna be sweeping with our Star Blade right here, because wing attacks are kicking some butt right now. Okay, so here we go, bam. And just like that. Okay, all right, so... <laughs> That's gonna be easy, holy crud. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and uh, continue on with this whole, uh... This whole clock, and well, it's gonna be going to... Let's see, one, two, three, well, nine o'clock? Yeah, nine o'clock, okay, so... The fountain's water has dropped, so we can... Yeah, so it is possible for us to just take a break and all that. So what we're gonna do now is not take a break and take on this trainer right here. You can't win with just uh, when you're distracted by the lovely aromas of Pokemon. Can we? Can we not? I don't even know. So here we go. We are being challenged by Aroma Lady Angela, and she's gonna be coming out with her uh, Rose or Roselia. And, well, let's go right ahead and speed this through. I kind of want to, and wow. We are kicking everybody's butt with just wing attack. Wow. Okay, alrighty. So, who's next? I have a feeling it's Gardena. There we go. Alrighty, I was actually expecting a little bit more of a challenge. I seriously was. And well, there's another fountain levels going down. And what is going to happen right here is we're going to be going towards Gardena herself. And she's been waiting for us. She's like, you kept me waiting. I'm going to turn as a gym leader, Gardenia, the grass type master. When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me. 
my hunch was right on the money. You have a winning aura about you. So anyway, this will be fun. Let's have our battle. So, here it is, guys. Gym battle number two against Gardena herself, the grass-type gym leader, and... Yeah, she's looking fantastic as always, looking like a, a woods person, and she is going to be coming out with a Turtwig. As many of you guys already know, Turtwig will eventually evolve into a Torterra, and that, that right there is bad news. So, since we're having good luck with Wing Attack, let's go ahead and do that, and this Pokemon survives. So here comes a Reflect Attack right here, so that right there is going to lower our defenses just a little, and because of that, here comes a Super Potion. So, here we go, and yes, that cuts everything in half, so we're going to have to hit it twice. I'm just saying this. I dare you, I dare you to freaking hit me with a paralysis or anything like that because we have a move ready for you. And here comes a Chirim, or Chirim, or whatever you like to pronounce it like. And this Pokemon right here looks like a big old, like, I don't know, I don't know, it looks like a banana or something like that, I don't even know. Banana peel, and here comes a Leech Seed attack, so this one won't be good. So what's going to happen right now is we're going to have to go with the Wing Attack again. As you guys can see, it's cloaking itself in a, in a veil, and just like that, we have defeated Chirim. And bam! For the win, level 21. So, here, here she's going to be coming out with a uh, Roserade. I'm going to go with Poseidon right here, because I do not want to be at a disadvantage when it comes to uh, the Leech Seed. So here we have Poseidon going in, and here's Roserade. This Pokemon looks beyond majestic. Alrighty, let's go. Peck Attack. And here we have a Quick Law. Thank you, Jeebus. And here comes a Peck Attack. Alrighty, and oh wow, critical hit, super effective. And Rose Raid is gonna go straight for its berry that it, it's, well, it kept, into, it kept with it. And that would have been a big hit. So here comes a mag Magical Leaf Attack. This right here does not miss. So even if we did double team, that would have been something pretty <laughs> bad for this Pokemon. So here we come in another peck attack and well, are you are you saying something? <laughs> you say you think you got me cornered? Yes, I do. And she's going to be coming out with a super potion yet again. And that right there is super effective and well, we're going to take this magical leaf right here. So Poseidon has gone down. Let's go with Starblade. And, well, let's see what ends up happening. We lower this Pokemon's physical attack right here. Hopefully, this will work. And here comes a Magical Leaf. Not so effective, but here comes Wing Attack. And that is super effective. How's the feel to fail, Rose Raid? Alrighty. Look at that. Oh, wow. Nearly grows to level 22. And she's like, amazing. You're very good, aren't you? Yes, I am. So, she's like, I might have said it before, but you're really tough. Wasn't it hard for you to raise your Pokemon to be so good? I guess that's a measure of how much you love your Pokemon. In recognition of that, I proudly grant you this. We get ourselves the Forest Badge. Throwing out the peace sign. Yes, I am throwing out the peace sign. With the Forest Badge, your Pokemon can now use the hidden move cut outside of battle. Now that you have two gym badges, all your Pokemon have received, or you receive in trades will obey you up to level 30. I also have something else. Here's a gift from me, and we get ourselves the TM86. I believe that is Grass Knot. Yes, it's one of my favorite moves. The heavier the foe, the more damage you, uh, this move will cause. And just like this, we go down to, I believe, 6? 6 o'clock? I don't even know, guys. Yep, if there's one thing I can tell about you, it's this. You and your Pokemon are gonna get tougher, and I mean seriously. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so that right there does it for our second gym battle. I'm feeling good about that. And, well, you're going to be walking all smug and everything. Going back to the Pokemon Center. Yes, very smug indeed. And, well, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at our second badge right here. Look at this. Now you're going to be seeing my little pointer. And look at this. We're going to be shining this thing up. We're going to be shining this some bitch up. That way, it'll be super, 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 super glimmery and shiny. There we go. Two little sparkles. There we go. And come on. Come on. Let's go. Shine. Shine, my my pretty. Shine. Come on. We need to hear this super squeaky sound right here. I really hate shining these things up, guys. I never really knew this until I watched somebody else's walkthrough. But there we go. It's glimmering. 
There we go. Glimmering like hope. Okay, so there you go, guys. Two badges in all. We have succeeded. So, in the next episode, we're going to be taking care of business over at Team Galactic's little hideout. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient, as always. If you guys want to support this channel by buying some merch, the store is right down there. Thank you guys again. I will see you guys next time.